And until now, a person infected with Ebola has never stepped foot in the United States. With so many questions about what the disease is and how it can spread, we want to bring back in our chief medical correspondent, Dr. John LaPook. John, there's all these myths about Ebola because I think people really sure. don't understand it. And one of, the best, one of the biggest myths is how is it spread? How can you actually get this? You have to get it from direct contact with body fluids. And specifically, it is not spread through the air. So if you're on an airplane, somebody coughs down the aisle, you can't get it that way. Mm -hmm. And also, very importantly, and different from the flu, with the flu, you can be infectious a day before you get symptoms. With Ebola, you have to be symptomatic in order to spread it. But bodily fluids, I was told yesterday by someone from the White House that you can get it through sweat. You can. If, so it, this is, though, if you're directly touching the person. So you see that, for example, uh, in Africa when they're handling the bodies during certain ceremonies during the, after the person has died. Uh, so there is confusion about this. It's very infectious if you actually touch it, if you come in direct contact with body fluids. But if you're 10 feet away and you don't touch that person, you're okay. pretty safe. So how big a risk is it to the U.S. population? Well, you know, there's two parts to that question. Number one is, can the virus come here? And, and theoretically, yes. So somebody could be incubating. If the incubation period is 2 to 21 days, they could feel perfectly fine, get on a plane and land here and get the flu, and uh, it turns out to be Ebola. But what all of the infectious disease experts are saying is that if that happened in the United States, as opposed to in Africa, we have the ability to isolate it. We would hopefully identify it early. There's been a huge alert to every healthcare professional in the United States saying, look out for Ebola. We would identify it, get the person in isolation, and get their contacts. I think another myth is that this is the first major outbreak of Ebola. No, and this is, Ebola was first noted in 1976 uh, in what used to be called Zaire. Um, and uh, there have been multiple outbreaks, dozens of them over the year. But this is the largest and longest. It is. And, and here's the thing. I don't mean to downplay this. This has more than three times the number of cases mm -hmm. as any previous epidemic it is, or outbreak. It is not under control. And, and, and it's been very, very dangerous. And I want to emphasize that the health care workers who have been working there are heroes. They really are, because there have been 100 health care workers who have been affected. 50 of them have died. And just quickly, another treatment that this can be treated with antibiotics, not true? Cannot be treated with antibiotics. Uh, there's no treatment right now. They're working on a vaccine that's going to be available in September for phase one trials. And then there's uh, some other cocktails of drugs that they're going to try out. All right. Dr. John LaPook, as always, very important information. Mm -hmm.